Hey, what's going on, fellas? The topic of this video is silicon carbide combustor from waste oil, and we're going to be looking at the buildup attributes of this particular combustor. This video was inspired by Mescal, who left a question in the comments section wanting to know if this thing's acting like a catalyst at all. And ironically, we've broke a temperature record with this particular burner. This thing puts off a waste oil flame hotter than any burner I've ever built, as far as I know. I'm going to double check the stats on the preheat burner. It may have outpaced this one just a little bit, but nonetheless, the buildup attributes of this burner are pretty awesome. There's no large clumping. Everything kind of just burns away if you run the thing red hot. So we're going to be taking a look at this thing. We're going to run it for two and a half hours, and we're going to see how much buildup we have. This is the comment that Mescal left, and this was on the silicon carbide burner on propane, I believe. So let's check this thing out. Um, you can see there's no smoke, which kind of hints that that's a good thing. It definitely burns the oil very well. So let's get some uh, temperature stats on this bad boy. And as you can see, we're well over any temperature you would typically get on waste oil. We almost hit 2100 degrees. 2094 is a known record that I have, but that's on a, a different burner. These are some figures that are more typical. There's one thing I want to point out about propane. This is not the temperature you will get off a propane torch. You only get about 1900 to 2000 degrees off of a regular propane torch of any kind that isn't air assist. Here's a thermal gun I got that goes over a thousand degrees. I'll leave a link in the description for this thing because they're kind of hard to find at a good price. I don't know how accurate it is, but it definitely allows you to measure the temperature of things over a thousand degrees. There's a little Celsius action. See this one here is just useless. That was back in my pre-K days. So uh, yeah, I've upgraded. Anyway, we're just kind of chugging along here. It's a little bit more of a night view. Wanted to see a little bit um, of the heating patterns on the combustion chamber is why I chose to do this right around dusk. The back of this thing looks great. We're not getting too hot. However, that is hot enough where some warping may take place. Okay, we're shutting down. Let's check this out. Okay, so here's the problem with cold oil and small hoses see the size of the hose I have here. This is a 3 8 ID hose. And it's just, it's kind of small for this job. That's just enough oil flow for an oil burner to run there. So that's not good. So for very cold conditions, we're definitely gonna wanna keep this little piece of footage in mind. And we're gonna to wanna to have much larger hoses and fittings. All right, fellas, we let this thing run for about two and a half hours. The experiment just started to drag out. So I stopped it and we burned 7.25 liters, I think it was. Came out to three liters an hour. So we were only running at 30 kilowatt. So we broke a temperature record with this thing on waste oil. Let's uh, see what's going on inside of this bad boy. So there it is. See if I get a flashlight on this thing. White ash sheen to it. Very weird color. I've never seen that color of the buildup before. It's yellow. That is so odd. There is a little bit of black buildup in there. I think my nozzle was out of alignment just a little bit. If you look at the angle of the nozzle there, you can see how it's tilted a little funny in relation to the plate. I kind of moved it just a little bit. Here's the back plate. One thing I do like about this small layer of buildup is it definitely um, ends all question to the possibility of carcinogenic particles emanating from this thing. 
I mean, they're completely buried in um, soot. Now, this is kind of what it looks like inside of one of the um, Godzilla burners as well. I don't have one that's got a coating inside of it, but it, even running at um, almost white hot temperatures, you still will get a small layer of buildup, but it, it just burns away after a while. It won't get any bigger than that usually. See how it's flaking off there? So you just gotta make sure you run this at red hot and make sure your nozzle's aligned perfectly. Just wanted to look at the differences. This is the Godzilla. And uh, it does self-clean a little bit better than this, I will admit. But this won't last forever. This will 